My name is Martin Whiting and I'm based at the Royal Veterinary College with a team of other researchers investigating issues relating to animal welfare, ethics and law. I also work on the animal welfare module of the short courses and the masters uh, provided by the University of London. What I want to talk to you today is about the interplay between animal welfare, ethics and law because this interplay is the really interesting part of the subject and it's the bit that's missed on many academic courses. The interplay is actually the practical application of animal welfare, ethics and law and the reason why we study this subject. So what's also interesting is how ethics and law differ widely between countries but it's how the animal experiences welfare, how society perceives that as being a problem, and then what the government does to implement control over it that changes the advice we should give on how, how we should manage animals. Understanding the principles behind the relationships between society, welfare data and law will facilitate you to apply them within your own environment. So when we learn about animal welfare, we're learning about how the animal experiences the world in a pleasurable or displeasurable way. Every time we interact with an animal, on a farm, in the wild, in the household, or even on the slaughter floor, we can cause some kind of positive or negative impact upon it. But collecting that welfare data has no value unless we as a society place a value upon the experiences of that animal. Animal ethics is about the society and professional views of animal welfare, when it's important and needs correcting and when it's not. But additionally, we need to know the context of the animal welfare issue. When we cause a harm by treating an animal, it's ethically very different to when we cause a harm in trying to increase profit or production. But to the animal, they may experience the same level of welfare change. So we can see that animal ethics is about the uh, suffering of the animal, the value we place upon the suffering, and the reason why we're causing that suffering. So I hope you can see from this how the interplay between animal ethics, welfare and law can shape the way we practice animal management. And there's very likely to be a controversial topic in your area. It may be animal experimentation, um, it may be the intensive keeping of animals on farms, or even how different religions ought to treat animals. All of these things interact to make up the rich tapestry of societal views that we must navigate for successful animal management and production. Thank you.